what we're gonna be practicing today is how to, in general, be taking gunfights. Whether it's a 1v1, whether it's a 1v2, 1v3, a 1v9. So I'm playing off cover. If he wants to push, he's gonna have to move into the open, right? Make sure my guns are loaded. There he is in the open. Punishing him for being in the open. He has no choice but to push out into the open. Just like this guy right here. Oh, one HP. Oh, he's one HP. Nice. Push this guy on the left. On this team, you see how, like, your lack of, of just putting pressure on them is giving them all the ability in the world to just get away with whatever they want. What is up everybody, hope you're having an absolutely great day and this current Apex split is treating you well. Today we got another coaching session. You may have actually seen me coach this live here on YouTube a couple days ago. It was an awesome session where we worked on how to enter and how to back up out of fights that we were winning and losing and overall how to just win every single situation that we got put into. If you're interested in watching the full length of this coaching session, consider joining the channel's memberships. With that, you'll get access to full sessions as well as a whole bunch of sessions that I do off stream and upload just for the members. It's a great way to get extra coaching content to help you improve your own gameplay while supporting me so that I can continue to make more in-depth aiming, movement, and rank guides just for you. Now, before we hop into today's video, a big thank you to today's sponsor, Cool My Rig. Cool My Rig is a new and unique company whose goal is to give away custom build beasts of a PC. And this month's PC giveaway would honestly destroy my setup. And I think that my setup is fairly good. The owner, Nick, is a fellow gamer himself who's just started a company to give away custom build PCs to gamers all across the US. To enter Cool My Rig's giveaway, check out their website. They sell really cool merchandise like t-shirts, sweaters, long sleeves, hoodies, and even some PC parts. Every dollar that you spend on some gaming gear or parts gives you one entry into their custom build water cool PC giveaway. I'll leave the link to their website in the description down below in case you're interested in getting some new gaming merch or some PC parts. Anyways, let's go up into this video. So, this is what we're gonna be doing here. All right, first, we're gonna start off with, you know, the most basic but most used mechanic in the game. Have you seen my YouTube short on instant sliding? Do you know anything about that? Where if you're not holstering a weapon, it's just... Exactly, exactly. Second. All right, let's see if you've, if you've got this mechanic. So what we're looking for here is an unholster forward slide jump. And we know that we're getting it spot on, where you know that we're getting it perfect if we can shoot while we're in the air. Right, let's say it again. What we're going to be practicing today is how to, in general, be taking gunfights. Whether it's a 1v1, whether it's a 1v2, 1v3, a 1v9, it's always going to be played the exact same way. Right? We're never going to take a fight from the inside. And by that, what I mean is like we're never going to start a fight and moving up into the open or putting ourselves on top of who we're fighting. The way that we're going to start taking fights is at a distance. right? Because if we start a fight right here, What's going to happen is we risk missing our shots, right? And now we're in a situation where maybe this person has more, you know, in their magazine than us. And now we're stuck in a situation where there's nowhere for us to go because we're right on top of this person. There's no cover next to us. So the way that we're going to be playing all of our gunfights today is playing from the outside so that we can play off of cover. We can control the situation this way, even if we get broken, right? Even if they break our shields, if they try to push up, there's still a bunch of stuff between us and we can back up even more and create some extra space. So we're gonna start by taking fights on cover. We're gonna practice moving in and out of cover. So we're never gonna take a fight and restart this guy. 
we're never going to fight by coming out in the open and then fighting from here. Instead, we're going to be on cover, shoot, come back in. That's going to let us avoid damage. Shoot, come back in, avoid damage. Then off of the big chunks of damage that we've been putting in, from here we can use that instant slide technique to quickly push up and secure whatever damage that we've done. So what I'm going to look for from you for a couple tries here, I'm going to just watch you and see if you can go out in, out in, holster, on holster slide, and then you're going to clean up on that dummy. Like that more so thing? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It doesn't matter how many shots you take, per se, when you're going in and out of cover. No, it doesn't matter, right? All we're looking to do is putting in damage, then off that damage we can push up, and we can secure a kill, right? And the and like I was saying earlier, right? Like, the main reason why we're playing off cover, coming in and out, is because if we come out here and we're just fighting in the open, we're shooting our entire clip, what we're doing is we're risking taking a massive sum of damage, right? Just, be, just like how I'm able to quickly peek out and hit a 75 in less than half of a second. Imagine how much damage that you can actually receive if you're out here and you're shooting, 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 and then you come back in, right? The longer you spend out in the open, the more damage that you can possibly receive. But if you come out and you put in these big chunks like this and you come back in, you have the opportunity to put out big chunks and then avoid big chunks. All right, so I'm gonna have you, right? We're gonna have you again, out. And then push up. Let's see if you got that. I'm gonna be right back. All right. Now I'm gonna move this dummy back. Now, just like how we're practicing pushing up off damage, damage, push up, securing a kill, we're also gonna practice the opposite while we're playing. So just be so just like how you know we know that if we put in damage, our goal is to be pushing up and to be securing that person as a kill. We need to understand that if we're taking a gunfight and somebody damages us, that person should also be pushing onto us as we would push onto them, right? So as we back up out of a fight, understand that this person here is gonna try and push up on us, quickly get behind that cover, punish this person for trying to come forward, and then we're gonna rinse and repeat that step until we get into a comfortable situation. So now that person, right? If we backed up again, this person is now gonna be forced again to cross through the open, right? So maybe I backed up the first time, I'm here, I'm gonna back up again. This person is now trying to cross through the open. I'm gonna back up again. If he tries to push again, he's gonna have to cross through the open. I'm gonna back up again to my next piece of cover, peek out, do damage, peek out, do damage. And this person, the more that you back up, the more that this person is gonna be forced to go into the open and take damage from you, right? So we're not running away. We're taking a step back, forcing this person to extend into a very vulnerable area and then punishing that person for extending into that area. Now it's not an easy thing to do because you have to be quick and you have to be accurate. You actually have to hit your shots, right? But this is essentially the, the fundamental that goes into winning these types of fights. Just like if I'm gonna be doing damage, right? I'm not sliding into the open and shooting, shooting, shooting. I'm peeking, shooting, peeking, shooting, pushing up, getting that kill. Now I'm in a very intense spot, right? This guy's knocked, maybe his teammates on him, doing damage. Oh, I'm actually not winning this fight. Back up, get behind cover, push this person back, back up a little bit more. Oh, he's still pushing me. Okay, push him back a little bit, back up more. If he wants to push again, get behind my cover. He's gonna be forced to come into the open, right? And we rinse and repeat this step. Does that make sense? Remember, we're working on working from the outside of the fight, from the edge to the inside of the fight as we're dealing damage. So we're not gonna dive into the middle of a clusterfuck. We're gonna work our way into it. My gun's not out. Enemy shield broke. Thank you. I couldn't leave so many traps. 
So they're far. See what's going on. Recharging my shields. I just tap shift back into that. Oh, careful. So this team, if they're smart, they should want to be moving up right now, right? So we're, let's make sure that we back up just a smidge. <coughs> make sure that you're using cover. I'll drop you a medkit over here. Oh, they're backing up. You might want to just use your bracelet. Create that good space. Okay, I'm dropping you this medkit. This team's going to push up. Get ready to hold them. Okay, I just shit on the Valkyrie. If we could... Okay. Valkyrie might still be broke. Cover. Cover. Oh. Right? So, remember. Understand that that player is going to want to push up off of you. So, use your cover. Wait for them to extend into the open. They're going to put themselves into a bad spot because they have to, right? If they want to push up, <clears throat> they have to put themselves in the open. You have the ability to play tight up against a rock, and you also have the ability to play inside of my knockdown shield, right? So don't strafe off of my knockdown. Don't slide away from my knockdown. Don't step away from your cover, right? Just quickly peek out of that cover. Try and put in a little bit of damage because you and that Valkyrie would have probably been around the same health. I don't know how much shield she had, right? But when I initially hit her, I hit her for about 130, 140. So we got two perps. As we pull up into this potential fight, we're looking at playing from the outside of the fight, working to the inside, right? So if we can take the roof, that would be very favorable for us because it's high ground. It makes it hard for people to push. So I broke one. Where are they? Oh, okay. We can move up if they're fighting. They're not looking at us. They're looking at another team. Right. Get ready for that third party. Use one HP. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill this bloodhound quick. Where are you going, dude? Okay. Let's watch for this. Remember, if one's getting res, then that means that um, you know, it's basically a two v one. Unless okay, unless there's another team. I'm gonna take a quick second to loot. I just need to grab some ammo or something. Yeah. Look at what's going on. Remember, if teams are fighting, then that means that they're not looking at us. That means that we can be putting damage in on them. No. Oh, how did I just take his portal? You're pulling in the open, my guy. You can just finish him. More? Get ready? Sipping away? You want to push off this damage? Oh, never mind. There's another team right there, actually. Alright. So let's think about this, right? If Zone's pushing b both of, you know, us and that other team, they're going to be pulling up over here. Alongside us. We want to be posturing towards them. 
so that we can, you know, kind of beat them to this area and punish them for coming in towards us, right? right? As we become better players, or as, you know, we want to develop as better players, we're always looking to take advantage and essentially, yeah, essentially take advantage of, um, you know, what players are going to be forced to do. So this team is going to be forced to come here. Towards me. Placing a portal. You can't die yet. Give me your knockdown. Give me your knockdown. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh. Killed an enemy. Recharging my so I'm playing shield. off cover. If he wants to push, he's gonna have to move into the open, right? Make sure my guns are loaded. There he is in the open. Punishing him for being in the open. Took out the whole squad. Our teammates banner. All right, so I understand that that player, if he wants to actually fight me, he has to, he has no choice. He has no choice but to push out into the open. Just like this guy right here. But you see that, right? Like, if he wants to push up, what is he going to do? He has to come out into the open, right? Like, if he's down this hall here, and he wants to push me, he wants to fight me, he's got to step into right here. Boom. Punish him for doing that. All right? If he keeps pushing, I can just back up a little bit more. If he wants to come out, boom. Punish him for doing that. Now, the thing is, is that that player is obviously putting aggression on you. Hitting your shots is extremely important, because if you don't hit your shots, he's going to be on top of you, and he's going to be fighting you. But you don't have the option to keep running away. The more you run, the more he's just going to chase you. I have a team behind me. Hi. Hi. You're in their sights. Back up. Probably. Can't win a 1v1 with no health. No, wait. If I'm stunned, he's stunned. They're gonna die. They're just gonna fight for me. Peek your little toes. Okay, take that as a... I'm dead here. Oh, he moved up so fast. Alright, just gonna... Remember, we're from the outside here. There's a lot of people landing, so just be cautious of what is going on. And that guy just bumped me off. I'm letting with you, by the way. That was the champion. It's a little cutie wraithy. Bro, broken on white. This would be a great time to start looking to push up a little bit. Mango, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mango? I broke two and they're in the low area. Enemy 
down. 45 seconds, rings close. Grab that purple and, and finish him. Why are you both not healing up? That's the last really decent guns. I'm gonna work on getting close, trying to punish teams here. Uh, Alright, it's just a 1v1. First blood. Oh. Just one dude here, so far. With an R9. Make sure that you take height. Play on height. Nice. Cover, reload. Punish him for being hurt. Oh, you got another dude right here. Oh. Peek him. He's just right in the open. So just like how we're talking about in the range, right? When people are in the open, quick peek, damage, go back in. Quick peek, damage, go back in, right? We don't want to take a couple shots and then reload our gun and sit behind cover for an extra three seconds and then peek out because now we're missing opportunities to be peeking, right? So just like we were doing in the range, peek out, a couple shots, go back in. Peek out, a couple shots, go back in. When you start like whipping out your entire mag, Right? Just like you did right there. You shot out your entire magazine and then you reloaded. One, you're overextending into the open. You're spending an excessive amount of time exposed. So even though you might put out a lot of damage, you're risking receiving a whole bunch of damage. Because that person's in the open, what's going to happen? You're going to peek, do damage, go back in. He's going to keep shooting thinking that you're going to re-peek. He's going to either have to reload his gun or he's going to be like, oh, I should probably get out of the open. And then as he starts to move again or as he starts to reload, that's when you go back and you start re-peaking, right? But because you whip out your entire mag, now you don't have anything to re-peak with. Now you're wasting time reloading. And now you're taking extra damage because you're standing in the open. So remember, go back to the fundamentals that we were talking about and practicing in the range. Quick peek damage go back in to cover quick peek damage go back into cover not shoot out the entire mag sit behind cover reload waste time peek again shoot out the entire mag get back into cover reload waste time right they're really basic things right and i get it can be kind of hard to remember but these very basic things combining them all together that's what makes players so incredibly hard to kill that's why you're watching me like that first game, 1v2ing like four teams back to back to back. Oh my god, please give me a gun that's not dog shit. Why am I? He's 1 HP, he's 1 HP, he's 1 HP. Punch him. Maybe not. Maybe not 1 HP, he's got an armor slot. Reloading. 
banner. The odds that fight were like not in my favor at all. Please res. Okay, I'm actually I'm gonna kill this team first before I res. Because if I res, that's a whole bunch of time that this team could be taking to reset. And instead I can just do that. Team coming down. One HP right here. I just 71 them right in the forehead. Okay, you're staying here, dude. You're not getting away from me. Okay, I'm gonna bat. Off this damage, we're gonna look to move up. We may not even need damage, depending on. Oh, there we go. 45 them. So now that 45 is gonna force him inside because he does. He definitely does not want to take any damage. He's probably going to just vantage back up again. Whoa! Firing. Open that, I dare you. Shit on? Alright, let's go put the pressure on this team. Alright, we should always be looking to be putting in damage, right? We, you know, if, if your teammate is taking, like, a separate angle, just, you know, either catch up like with him and like be playing rid tied up against him or you know you could have been playing from behind that vantage and you could have I'm actually gonna drop down here. She just rest. Push up off this because one is gonna be one HP. Shoot him. Nice. So you kind of notice, right? I'm, I'm constantly fighting teams, but I'm constantly putting myself in a way or in, in a position that if I do start taking damage, I don't have to worry about um, getting one magged because I'm going to be able to just quickly go back behind cover. Right? So like, let's just say there's a... Oh. You're sliding into the open. Broke that. It's all good. I'm just gonna back up here, dude. I don't want him to EMP you. Recharging my shields. Okay, twenty of them on purple. So that's gonna slum down just ever so slightly. I'm going to start posturing up. I don't want to be in the open. I'm going to focus on backing up. I'm actually going to back up just a little bit more so I can get a comfortable heal off. Need to recharge my shields. I'm going to force this team to extend into the open if they want to fight me. They don't have movement, so I know that I got the drop on them here. You're being aimed at. Just a minute. Probably switch the sights. Okay, so one's on purple. Double 45. Ring's not that far. He shouldn't have any health, I don't think. No way, I missed! Alright, so remember what we were talking about a couple games ago, about the whole healing thing, right? We know that with damage, teams want to push up onto us. So we should be expecting, oh, okay, if I'm sitting right here, and I'm not looking at what's going on, 
right? That team is probably just going to keep walking up to walking up onto us, right? Just like how I've been trying to talk about, you know, the entire time that we're fighting, right? Oh, I hit this guy for 45. He's probably going to stop looking at us. And that's our opportunity to start walking up, right? Because he doesn't have the luxury at looking at us anymore because he'll just keep taking damage. So you taking damage, right? And if you're just spending like 20 seconds behind the same box healing over and over and over again, you should focus on backing up just like we were doing in the range. Back up, that team's going to want to push forward, peek them, hold them back, and then back up again. And now you have twice as much space between you and that other team. I changed my mind. All right, when you've got a gun boss, we're going to go start third partying all these different teams because the faster that we third party, the faster that we can catch people while they're fighting as opposed to catching them after they fight when they have all the attachments, all the guns, all the shields, and all the resources. Picked up some materials. New kill leader. Watch for the Getting shot at. Throwing jump drive. We're all outside the ring. So the Lopa is shit on. I'm gonna push up here. I'm not gonna let that Loba get away. Oh, 1 HP. Oh, he's 1 HP. Nice. Okay, I'm going to portal up. That way we have a way to get in and out of this fight. I might just kidnap this guy, to be honest. Get ready. Here it is. Because instead of sitting on the rock, not looking at that guy, you could have... Okay, let's say this was the portal. Right? Instead of waiting right here, looking at the portal... What you could have done is looked to see if the guy was moving towards you. And then if you heard him take the portal, you could have turned around and then killed him. Oh, all right. All right? Because you're cool. limiting yourself to what's going on. It is much easier to look at what's actually happening and then react to him taking a portal and turning around and like, shooting him twice. As opposed to sitting on the portal and just waiting to see what happens. Right? Okay. I'm Loba! Nice. My bad, I didn't even realize I was Loba. Different types of shields. What are you doing? Oh, what the fuck? Push now on this. Wow. I want to go back to the very beginning of the stream, but I can't talk about it right now, this moment. Alright, right in front of me. But a, but a 5 mag this guy right in the forehead. I'm going to push him out to your left side, so you, you'll see him move out to the left. Right. Hear that fighting? Let's get you moving up there. Whoa! You here? Scan, your scan. You gotta make sure you, you scan the dude.
I'm just gonna put my alt right here. All right, so it tells you where your scan's going, right? It tells you if there's anyone in front of it. It highlights orange. You're pulling up? Oh, I'm fucking stuck. Apparently that doesn't get rid of your Arkstar. Back up here. Throw down your alt so you know what's going on. Scan them. Res, they're fighting. Res. Peek if they look to move up a little bit. I'm going to create a little bit of space. You have them on your scan, so you just keep peeking. Door. Right, so you see how you have just scans on them? Put some pressure on them, right? Look to be shooting them. Don't let them just wander around here for free. Good scan. I'm gonna push this guy on the left. And I'm gonna punish this guy on the right. Okay, he backed off. Yeah, so let's posture on that last guy. Punish that guy. Nice. Watch for the other teams. Don't loot. You know that there's other teams around. Look for them instead. Team trying to move up. Just gonna back up myself. Pop in the bat. I need here, we need to maybe try and back back up. We still have another team here, eh? You gotta be looking to put in pressure on this team. You see how, like, your lack of, of just putting pressure on them is giving them all the ability in the world to just get away with whatever they want. Right? You keep turning your back to them. You keep running away from them. Right? We, remember, just like we were talking about in the range, teams are going to continue to move up. Right? They have to move up. Right? If we get hurt and we push back, they're going to want to move up. If Storm is pushing them, they're going to have to move up, right? It's your job as a player to make sure that you peek and don't let them do that. If they're going to force themselves to go into the open, you have to force yourself to peek and punish that team for standing in the open. Oh my god. 